are. We are now planting our fall garden. We're probably two weeks later than I wanted to be, but it is what it is. So let's hope for a late um, fall. And if we have to, we can put PVC pipes over this, turn it into somewhat of a little greenhouse. Uh, we this have piece this. all cleared off. This is where we had carrots, radishes, and potatoes. And we still have celery back there that self-seeded from last year. So we're gonna leave that for now. But we will um, be planning around it because we can't wait for it to mature. So we've got some radish seeds going in. He's dropping one about every two inches or so. As close as he can get to that anyway. This ground is fairly soft. Um, it's got uh, more sand in it than most of our raised beds do. So it does pretty good for root crops. And we have um, a bunch of all the little pellets, our alpaca manure, that are fortifying this bed for this fall garden. Are you done with that, bro? All right. Yeah. All right. Let me have that one. All right. So now he's gonna put in this um, purple jamuni radish. I'll read about that one here in a minute. But the one he just put in was uh, cherry bell, and um, it's one that kind of does good in the heat that we have right now. So we're going to put it in, hope that it doesn't stay too hot for them to um, grow properly and not just send them straight into seeding. Eh, just work them in there. He spilt a few. And now he's putting in these purple ones. What? Uh, it says soft lavender to purple from pith to skin and with amazing flavor to match. Occasionally produces a few white roots. A cool weather radish. It also tolerates some heat. So we are mid to late August. What's the date today, Ronnie? Uh -huh. Do you know? Yeah, we don't punch a time clock. 19th. It's the 19th. So just a little past the middle of August. So these will be maturing in September. So we should be okay with this timing with radishes. And in about two weeks, we'll plant either more of these same varieties or a different variety. We're gonna cover these up and then we'll be right back. Okay, this row, we're putting in some purple top turnip and those are a 50 day crop. The radishes that we put in, I think they were like 25 day. So these will be done by like the end of September. We have some beets in the house soaking so that we can bring them out. We'll probably bring them out tomorrow. And it looks like they might take up residence here in this little area. And we will go from there. We have been drying a lot of herbs and this is part of our mint. Um, this is the one that we were smart and put in a pot. Though it can still spread seeds and go everywhere, but at least the roots are contained and we're not going to do that right now because I just noticed we have a bunch of roses that are ready to go. So we're going to take them in for tea. So if they're a fairly tight rose bud, I pick the whole bud. If they are an open rose but still really good, um, I just grab the petals and pull. Um, and then we will take those. This one has kind of seen better days, so I'll just leave it. This is a bud. We'll take the whole bud. This one's seen better days. Let's see what's going on up here. Those have both seen better days. There are some more over here. Okay. Anybody wonders why I'm, why I'm grimacing? I'm barefoot out here. So here's a bud.
here's a bud. And unfortunately, oh, there's a bud way up there. I wonder if you could reach that one if you shut the camera off. I sent the guy with shoes back there to grab that bud. Now one closer to Liz's fence. Need to trim this whole bush now wait stay right there see that rose right there just pull all those leaves i think i can take most or petals i can take most of those okay here is our dehydrator and we are going to put the buds and the petals on here set these for drying and we'll save them up for winter for rose tea. You have some Monardas that are kind of primed for picking too. A couple of them are a little beyond that so we'll leave those. We're going to pick the couple that we can get. We have a Nesco dehydrator and we've got both the rose buds and the Monardas in here. There's only just I think two Monardas but we'll take what we can get and we'll see if we get some more yet this year. I missed all of the purple ones, I just didn't get out there and get them. But they're making seeds, so I'm going to collect the seeds to be able to plant when we get moved. So that's it for today's video everyone. Have a great day. Um, let us know below what your challenges are or what you've planted for a fall garden. If you think you can, if there's reasons that you believe that you cannot, uh, let us know in the comments. Talk to everyone later. Bye!